Welcome to the 2822 Friday Night Football Show, presented by Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute. Thanks for spending your Friday night with us. I'm Nick Zelaya, riding solo tonight. Hope everyone can dig into some of that leftover turkey and enjoy what was a riveting night of state quarterfinal action. We start with our game of the night. Southern Columbia and Bald Eagle area. The Tigers taking their home field in a quarterfinal matchup, hosting this Bald Eagle team on the hunt for a seventh straight state title. Second quarter, we have no score. Southern Columbia's defense was stellar all game. Isaac Carter. Gets the sack on Bald Eagles, Carson Nagel. We go into the half scoreless. Third quarter, Southern Columbia's opening possession of the half. Garrett Garcia, the handoff from Blake Weiss and a big gainer into Bald Eagle territory. Later on in the quarter, Garcia would cap the drive off with this one yard touchdown run. Extra point, no good. Tiger lead is six to zero. Let's get to the fourth quarter. Still six nothing Southern, Blake Weiss. Hands it off to Carter Madden, who then hands it off to Loudon Murphy on the inside reverse. Murphy buys some time at the line of scrimmage and bursts through. Turns on the speed, 69 yards for a touchdown. Two-point conversion, that fails, so it's 12 to nothing Tigers. Fourth quarter, if it works again, try it again. Loudon Murphy on another inside reverse. This time, he goes 54 yards to the house for a touchdown. The two-point conversion again would fail. It would be 18 nothing Tigers, but those missed it. PATs, two-pointers would mean nothing because this Southern defense was outstanding all night. Colvin Bloom blowing up the backfield there with the big sack. Southern gets a big victory over Bald Eagle, 18 to eight. You know, it's not, it's not going like some years where, you know, we'd pull away offensively, but again, the last two weeks, uh, two outstanding football teams and, and um, you know, we're able to do enough offensively, play well defensively, and hopefully, uh, you know, we can get by one, one more next week from the, from the Scranton area. <laughs> we're a dominant force out there, so we knew that um, if we set the tone first half, you know, this quarterback would kind of get rattled, and I think we definitely did that. You know, he threw a bad ball to Loudon, had a great uh, return, and, you know, that kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. Our first half, I think, we, we were one tackle away from breaking some big runs. I mean, we, we wore their, their defensive front down. In the second half, we came out with the same intensity. They weren't ready for it. We caught them off guard. All right, so who will Southern play? Well, it will be the winner of this next game. Number eight, Dunmore hosting Camp Hill, opening drive of the game for the Lions. Drew Brandstetter, this kid is special, finds Kyle Doy up the middle, and he makes a few tackles, breaks a few tackles, and in for a score, Camp Hill leads 7-0 over Dunmore. But the Bucks bounce right back. Ensuing drive inside the red zone. Thomas Bowen takes it himself through the line. That ties this one up at seven apiece. Second quarter, Camp Hill trying to make something happen. Brandstetter over the middle, but it's picked off by Jack McNeff. Open space and takes it all the way back for a pick six. Dunmore takes a 14 to seven lead. Third quarter now, an eight point lead for this Bucks team. Brandstetter going for the Hail Mary to tie this up, but Danny Piga has other thoughts. Acrobatic interception for Piga. Bucks take over. Dunmore takes down 41 to 25. They advance to the first 2A semifinal since 2017. Proud of our kids. Uh, we had a good week of practice. Uh, you know, we didn't play our best game tonight, but we battled through some adversity. Uh, this team came in. Uh, they played a good football game. They played hard. Uh, we made some mistakes, but in the end, uh, our kids played hard. They played together, and we did enough to get a victory and move on to the Eastern Final. People on uh, counting on us Thanksgiving weekend at home and state playoffs that that was unheard of so we were really glad when we heard that but I mean two games left and we that's where the chance but that's it all right let's shift over to class 4a now Dallas still with a perfect record 13 and 0 they get a home game in the quarterfinals hosting Monsignor Bonner Prendergast cold weather doesn't mean anything for the Dallas fans packing the stand 7-7 at the half Friars get the ball first Abis Koruma his throw straight to Mike Lewis in Dallas with an interception. Friars, they get a stop on defense, get the ball back, and go with the ground game this time. Mick Johnson, 60 yards all the way to the house. The Friars go in front 14-7. Mountaineers with a response. The handoff for Dylan Geske. He should get down at the four-yard line, but nope. Play until you hear a whistle. The friendly pushes into the end zone. Dallas ties the game at 14. Fourth quarter. Bonner Prendy up seven. Brady Zapatiki. 
letting one fly for Gavin Lewis, a 71 yard touchdown. Once again, we're all knotted up. We head to overtime. Friars get the ball first. They score. An excessive celebration backs up the PAT. Dallas blocks it, so it's just 27 21. Mountaineers on fourth down and one. Zapatiki crosses the goal line, and this might be the first extra point we have shown all season because it's the one sending Dallas back to the state semifinals in a thriller. Dallas beats Bonner Prendy 28 to 27. Most high school football teams are senior laden and they're run by the seniors. And every once in a while, you'll get a group where the juniors and the seniors, uh, sorry, kids, great kids. You get the juniors and seniors and they come together as one class. And that's what this group did. Just, they're special. This team is probably the toughest team I've ever been on. Uh, we all got heart and guts. Every single play, every snap, every day of practice, we just show up. One, we show up for each other. We're here every single day, and we just we get at it. Coming into here, we were just the meanest, nastiest team. We, were, we got ten times more physical, ten times more aggressive than we were last year. And I think that was the difference maker. Seals Grove and Juniata, the second meeting of the season between these two teams. Seals on the board early. Carter Young from Yard Out finds the blue paint. A Juniata touchdown made it 9-6, ensuing kickoff. We need a tracker on how many times Tucker Teese has been said this year. 82 yards for a touchdown. This would put Seals Grove in front 16-6. Just before the half, Mark Pastor to Tucker Teese. And check this out. He made two defenders go into each other and then sprints past the defense for a 33-yard score. Seals up 23-6 at the half. Fourth quarter, Pastor to Gavin Bastion, 29-yard reception for a touchdown. All Seals in this ball game. They win it 44-14. We'll take a quick break, but when we come back, another unbeaten looking to keep its magical season alive. Lackawanna Trail, they take on Steelton High Spire. Those highlights and more when we come back.